A man can't get rich if he takes proper care of his family. I know that there'll be uh, people that will say, no, well, I take care of my kids. Look at me, I'm a professional. Um, I got a professional wife. And look at my daughter. She's okay. She's going to college. She's never been to jail. She's married and she has kids. And you have someone who... Uh, Technically speaking, from a distance, she didn't have it bad. But once you scratched below the surface, man, tragedy. And um, it was a, she had a painful past. And yeah, she had the professional mom, the happy mom. And uh, to this day, uh, I believe her mom's real happy-go-lucky. But that piece of shit fucking attitude. Her selfish father. Brought upon her just... Uh, but it briefly just trauma that uh, caused a lot of uh, negative after effects throughout her life. <clears throat> uh, no doubt that you can be a, a businessman, a working man, and um, have honorable children, no doubt. But I think generally speaking, What if my, uh, I don't have any kids, but what if I had a son, or a girl, or a tranny, baby tranny, and the bastard, and I would call him bastard, god damn it, motherfucker, come here. <laughs> what if the motherfucker said, uh, dad, I feel like going to the, um, you know, they're having the mummy of uh, Tutankhamen here at um, the museum. They're having the work of um, MC Asher here on display for one week only, two weeks a month. This is the last day. Oh, no, son, I'm tired. You don't know how busy I am. And the kid, your son, your daughter, your little baby tranny will look at, uh, will look across the street and see the neighbor with the dad who is also tired. Um, take an Uber to the museum to go see it the last day. The kid brings his sketchbook, his drafting book, takes pictures, learns, reads, stays stated to closing. Then the next day, uh, the father said, No, but look here, I brought you a little booklet with all the MC Escher drawings and sketches in it. The kid gets it. Thanks. And it's the same thing, you know. And the kids gotta learn, and uh, and there'll be there will be pieces of shit, sissies, fucking fucked up pieces of trash that'll say, you know, that, no, that is fair, you know. Well, the kid got the book, you know. It's better than nothing. All right, better than nothing. And um, again, I'm gonna grab some meat right now soon, but I don't want to lose my appetite. But I could recall pieces of shit fucking parents, pussies, 
Sissy, straight up cunts. Evil. Garbage. Treat their kids like. Like an unwanted dog that showed up at their doorstep that doesn't leave. So, um, a man can't get rich if he takes proper care of his family. Quote, that's, well, that's a Navajo saying, according to this quote book. So, man, that's, um, I, I like it, man. I like it a lot. I like it a ton. And I, could, and I could always uh, look back on my life. I would go to a bar, to a pub, and get drunk and be like, <clears throat> I'm not where I'm at. I don't got what I wanted to get because of mama, because of papa, because of my hardship, grandma this, grandpa that. I didn't have this, didn't have that. The teachers didn't do this, didn't do that. And, and I could soak in that sort of uh, negativity. I'm in it. Take a sauna, mental sauna in it. And, and it's not about that. It's simply saying, you know what? That's a piece of garbage. That's a piece of shit that I stepped on. That's some garbage that will be repeated if you don't discuss it. And... You know, it's not um, something with minor consequences. This is the life of people, the life of kids that turn into adults now. And, and there's men that I, man, I, I admire because they're, they're family men. I mean, they're really family men, not because he knocks a bitch up and they live together with some cunt and they raise a miserable fat diabetic fuck. No, 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 no. But because the dude and and the, the wife, they, they want the best. Not that, They don't simply just want the best. They live to attract and become the best to, uh, to what they know. And that's a lovely thing, man. And uh, so many of us that get caught up, you know, well, I, I want to be rich and famous. I want to have this title. I want to do this and that. And there's nothing wrong with that, but what if my little ugly ass kid walked in right now and said, Dad. Let's go out to the to the park. Let's go throw the ball. I was like, son, uh, son's about to go down. So, you know what? The homeless and the junkies are about to go and start walking with the with the Walking Dead around here. Fuck off, bastard. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> oh, but dad, you know, man, oh, man whatever. I just learn not to ask. Or what if I had a deadline and I had to get this done right away? Uh, well, you know, that's all life is. You know, the kids got to learn to, um, um, the kids got to learn about capitalism some way, somehow. All right. Motherfucker. <laughs> um, no, man, I, and I don't see it like that. And that's why I don't have any fucking kids. 
And I know people will say, well, that's why you can't talk about it, because you don't have kids. I'm thinking, no, 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 you fucking moron. It's because I don't want to fucking um, screw up some fucking kid's life because, oh, I want to have a kid and I want to be a boss and I want to design shirts and I want to go to France and I don't know who's going to take care of the kid, but somebody will. And um, I want to do this, I want to do that. Yeah, you don't want to spend all my money on this, but you know, I also want to save all my money to save for their college education. And uh, they, they want to be at two places at once, do two things at once. Spend the dollar that they don't even have twice. All because they want to feel good. I want to give them what my parents and gave me. Recklessly. Not planning, just, just do it. Whatever. And I don't want any of you motherfuckers to reproduce that sort of behavior. I, I prefer you do what you're, what you're, whatever you want in your life. But I would like to give you just a warning or a story that of what is possible through stupidity. And, and in case you're an after effect or a product of such an environment, don't fucking quit, you motherfucker. I'm not here. I'm not your fairy godmother, your fairy godfather. Everything's gonna be alright. <laughs> no, fucker. The odds are against you. So that means you need to fucking dig deeper, work harder, study longer, research more. Period, you fuck. We need to get after it, man. No one's going to rescue you. That doesn't mean become a little bitch and tap out. But, oh, well, you know, man, I'll, I'll just walk out and make or whatever. And even if you become one of those fucking pussies that uh, says, well, I'll just work at McDonald's. Don't worry, man. You're about to get a kick in the tits when um, McDonald's rolls out the uh, the kiosk that no, no, that no longer needs as many fucking cashiers. And there's a robot finally that could flip burger. Throw the chicken nuggets where they belong. You need less manpower, less fucking morons to fuck shit up. Less morons with fuck the bad attitudes. Why are you talking all this shit in the drawing channel? Why not, motherfuckers? Why not, goddammit? I think a little white would be good here. And that white was dirty, it was polluted. It stained the paper. it for now motherfuckers <laughs> get after it I'm not an asshole stop being so sensitive god damn it motherfucker